In the 19th century, when India was a British colony, some of the British officers started to get interested in the history of India. The most important of them was Alexander Cunningham, who rediscovered and excavated many ancient Buddhist sites in India. In 1847, his brother was appointed as political agent in Bhopal, in northern India. And he noticed that there were five groups of overgrown and damaged stupas, not far away from the city of Bhopal. A few years later, in 1851, Alexander Cunningham started his archaeological survey of the stupas. Already on the first morning of the excavations, they made a very exciting discovery. When they dug a shaft into the center of one of the stupas, today called Sanji Stupa No. 3, they found two almost identical stone boxes. Both of them had a short inscription on the lid in Brahmi script. The same script that was used in the 2300 year old rock and pillar edicts of King Asoka. It was easy for Alexander Cunningham to translate the inscriptions. The inscription on the first lid was Sariputasa of Sariputta, and the inscription on the second lid was Mahamogalanasa of Mahamogalana. When they opened the boxes, they found two reliquaries made of polished stone which contained the bone relics of the two greatest disciples of the Buddha, Venerable Sariputta and Venerable Mamogalana. A few days later, further excavations at one of the stupas at Satara, 10 kilometers from Sanchi, unearthed a pair of almost identical relic chambers and reliquaries of the chief disciples of the Buddha. The relics had been enshrined inside the stupas for 2,300 years since the time of King Asoka. Alexander Cunningham was well aware of the great importance of his discovery and sent the reliquaries and relics to the Victoria and Albert Museum in Britain, where they remained until 1939. Then the Mahabodhi Society requested the British government to return the relics to India, which was granted. But the Second World War prevented the transfer of the relics until 1947. When the word spread that the relics of the two chief disciples of the Buddha would be returned to India, many Buddhist countries requested that the relics would first travel on an international tour, so that many people would get an opportunity to worship them. First, they were on display in the Colombo Museum for six weeks, where over two million Sri Lankans paid homage to them. After that, they were taken for two weeks to India and then to Burma where they were taken on a tour along the Irrawaddy River from Mandalay to Rangoon, so that many people in the cities along the river had a chance to worship them. Later, also the government of Nepal and Ladakh requested the relics to be taken to the countries. When they returned to India in 1950, the Burmese government requested a share of the relics of Venerable Sariputta and Venerable Mamukalana for Burma, which was granted, and the Prime Minister of Burma went to India himself to receive them. The portion given to Burma was enshrined in the Kaba Aya Pagoda, where the sixth Buddhist council took place, close to Rangoon. Another portion of the relics was given to Sri Lanka, to the Mahabodhi Society in Colombo, and was enshrined in the stupa next to the temple. For the remaining third of the relics, a new temple, the Chetiagiri Vihara, was built close to the Great Sanchi Stupa in India, which became a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its great historic significance. There, the sacred relics remain, object of the deepest veneration of pilgrims from every Buddhist country, and a lasting reminder of the lives of Venerable Sariputta and Venerable Mamogalana, the two great beings in whom the teaching of the Buddha bore its most excellent fruit.